for the state's first presidential preference primary in more than three decades was less than 7% statewide unofficially, leading some to say it was a waste of time and money. 13's Madison Bickley spoke with experts who explained the process is more complex than you might think. Melissa, the vote canvas is underway in counties across the state, deciding whether any additional ballots should count. Shawnee County Commissioners had only about 100 provisional ballots to consider today. In the regular August 2020 primary, it was more than 1,000. Commissioners gathered Monday at the Shawnee County Election Office to canvass the local presidential preference primary results. The state legislator made the decision to switch to a primary for the first time in more than 30 years. These decisions were made before we knew that there was only going to be one candidate uh, on the Republican side and one candidate on the Democratic side. But the 8.5% voter turnout in Shawnee County has some saying the primary was a waste of money. Statewide lawmakers allocated about $5 million to pay for it. But it's not as simple as you you may think. When you're in the legislature and you're trying to put together um, an opportunity for voters a year ahead of time, you don't know what you don't know what the turnout's going to be. You don't know who the candidates are. Howell says primaries do allow for greater participation. I hope they do it again because I do think it's a good chance for people in Kansas to have more impact on uh, who their presidential nominee is going to be for those two parties. The regular primaries for state, federal, and local offices are in August. Burkhead encourages more people to read up on those candidates, stating they have a more direct impact on our day-to-day -day life. It's very easy to look at the things at the presidential uh, ticket and, and make decisions based on that for every other office. But uh, if we look at the state legislature right now, they're debating really, really important things. All of these things are really, really consequential, um, and that's not affected by who the president is. If people do not vote, um, then politicians don't... Uh, have to listen to those people who don't vote. Just over 9,700 votes were cast in Shawnee County. President Biden and former President Trump were the top vote getters for their parties. All right, Madison, appreciate the update.